That's right, this laptop can detect you and unlock itself all in one go. This is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 6i. It starts from 65,000 and it comes with specs that are just about enough to get you easily through your day's work. But the big questions, can it get your work done? Is it powerful enough and does it have long enough battery life? Can it edit photos, videos and play games? Does it get hot? And while this video is being done in collaboration with Intel and Lenovo, but we're going to answer all of those questions objectively, so let's go. Now, the Lenovo Yoga series comes in three types. The Pro, Slim, and 2-in-1. This one is the Yoga Slim series that again has a couple of options ranging in performance and price. And this one is the Lenovo Slim 6i. But first, let's talk about the design and the build here. Look, Lenovo's are generally very durable. And this one too has a sandblasted, anodized aluminum cover. So over time, as you use it, it most likely will not catch scuffs and scratches as easily. It's fairly lightweight, so carrying it around won't be a hassle. Fits very well in any standard bag. It is slim. Now to open the lid, they've provided some leverage which makes it easy for you to lift it. And while opening, you might need to sometimes hold it down a bit to avoid this lightweight device to lift itself up. The hinge resistance is also quite nice. And since this is the yoga series, it can go all the way down by 180 degrees, giving you all possible tilt angles. At the top of the lid, you do get this privacy shutter for the webcam, so that's a nice touch. There's a fairly large trackpad and you get the speakers on the rear side. And we'll talk about the trackpad and the speaker quality a little later in the video, so hang tight. And yeah, at the bottom, they provide these rubber grips, so your laptop gets a nice grip on whatever surface you keep it at and prevents from slipping. Let's quickly cover the ports. On the left, you've got an HDMI port and two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is one of the fastest and the most versatile. And on the right side, you get a 3.5mm headphone jack and a regular USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. So all in all, a pretty decent set of ports. Uh, you might miss the microSD card slot and an Ethernet port, but you can always get yourself one of those uh, USB adapters or dongles and expand the capability that way. So it's not really a deal breaker. Now, once you open the laptop, one of the best things on this is smart AI plus smart login. So let's say you're working and you got up and left, right? And I do that quite often through the day. The laptop locks itself, right? Now, as soon as you just come in front of it, it detects you and using facial login just unlocks itself. I love it and it works flawlessly. Now the display that I've got on this variant of the Slim 6i is an OLED display. It's 14 inch with a 1200p resolution. It's nice and colorful and bright even for outdoor use. However, do note OLED displays tend to be slightly more reflective, especially outdoors. And so there's also a more affordable version of this, which does not have an OLED display. It's an IPS panel, much less reflective, but it's also less bright. And I think it has the 12th gen CPU, so you might want to think about that. But here's my advice. OLED displays tend to be more color accurate than IPS displays. And so if you do anything that requires use of colors, you'd be better off with an OLED display. And now let's come to the meaty part, the performance. And allow me to explain something here. This one has the latest Core i5 13500 Edge with 16 gigs of onboard RAM, and it comes with one terabyte of internal storage. There are other options as well, depending on whether you want more processing power. And of course, that will have an impact on price too. But let's talk about the performance on this one. So first of all, this is an Intel Evo certified laptop. What it means is that despite having great performance, it is still lightweight. It's really small and compact and it's got good battery life. It also means it's ready to work really well with your smartphones. For example, you can use Intel Unison to pretty much unify your smartphone and laptop experience. From your laptop itself, you can make calls via your phone, or if you want to access files, photos, messages, or even notifications, you can do all of that on the laptop. I mean, it really makes it easy for you to do everything in one place without feeling disconnected with your smartphone. So even if it's not lying around, you're not really missing out on anything. And you know, this laptop is perfect if what it is that you want to do is multitask between tools or apps that you typically use in office. So, you know, you could be working on a PowerPoint file while also working on an Excel sheet. And then you can have some music playing in the background and then you quickly want to hop onto a video call. You can juggle between all of that without any issues on this laptop. And speaking of video calls, it powers something called as smart appearance, again, courtesy Intel Evo. So you can more accurately blur your background or even change it to something else and apply filters on all your usual meeting platforms. But can you do more with this laptop? So you can very easily edit photos on something like Lightroom. That will be a breeze. Photoshop, well, as long as you don't have very heavy imagery or complex layers, you'll be fine. You can very easily use it for basic stuff like making thumbnails or even designing a lightweight website or something. And what about Premiere Pro? 
Well, obviously you can't depend on this uh, for professional video editing that you know deals with 4K video files or use a very complex transitions and animations. But yeah, if you're a casual creator and instead of editing on your phone, you'd like to edit your short form content on this laptop, it is actually perfect for that. Now, what about heat? And I'm actually quite surprised that in the last couple of days that I've been using this laptop, I really can't recall when I actually heard the fans or felt any kind of warmth coming from the laptop. Except just the one time when I did try to load on uh, 4K files in Premiere Pro and try to play them back, that's when the fans did turn on for a while and I could hear them. But other than that, quite cool. Also, what about gaming? Well, this isn't really a gaming laptop. I mean, a gaming laptop would typically require a dedicated graphics card, which it does not have. So you definitely cannot play any AAA titles on this laptop, though if you do want to play Valorant or you know Counter-Strike or something like that, that you can still manage on this. Also, if you are a wee bit curious about how the speakers sound on this, here's a demo. Considering the fact that it's quite slim and compact, I think the speakers are just about decent. I mean, they can definitely improve on the bass aspect of the sound, but yeah, quite standard sound. Next, before I talk about battery, I wanna quickly touch upon the keyboard, the typing experience, and the trackpad feel. So, the keyboard. It's quite standard, it's got a wide backlight, decent travel distance in the keys, nicely sized keys, and they're neither too noisy nor too quiet. Just give this a listen. All in all, if you're not too particular about your typing experience, this is as normal a keyboard as you'd expect it to be. And the trackpad, it's quite large and smooth, works just as expected, and I like that it doesn't take too much effort to quickly register a click. Lastly, the battery life. So it's got a 65 watt hour battery, and they claim that it can get you up to nine hours or sometimes more than that, uh, battery life on a single charge. Now that's a tall claim, but that's typically achieved under lab conditions. But in my personal use, I've been able to get about five to five and a half hours of use uh, with about 40% brightness on an average. Of course, I did not use any intensive apps like Photoshop or Premiere Pro or Lightroom, just, you know, a regular mix of everyday apps that you use at office. Also to charge, you get this really nice, small, lightweight, slim adapter with a type C plug at the end but you can also use any PD charger to charge this laptop. And so you don't need to always carry the laptop charger with you, which I think is very convenient. Now, thanks to Intel Evo, just 30 minutes of charge using this adapter can get you almost about four hours of use on this, which I think is excellent. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good laptop to consider in this price segment if what you're looking at is an everyday laptop for your regular office work or for your student life. Or even if you're a content creator who's just starting out their you know, content creation journey and you want a reliable, durable laptop to carry around as you create. And you know, laptops over the years have actually gotten more expensive. And considering other laptops that have similar specs and performance, I think this one offers a pretty good value for money. And guys, in addition to the yoga series, there's also IdeaPad, there's Flex, and there are gaming series uh, from Lenovo that you can explore on their website. And while the Slim 6i does start at 65,000, but with product exchange and cash packs, you can get up to 20,000 rupees as discount and get this for about 45, 50,000 rupees. And also, you can build and customize your own laptop. So all of those options are available for you. And if you guys have any other questions, comments, feel free to drop them below and I'll definitely help you guys out. If you guys enjoyed watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon and mark all really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.